Hey everybody, it's your boy LaBea Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. If you haven't done so already, please feel free to go down below and like and subscribe to the channel. Your support means everything to me. I know that you could be spending your time doing a lot of other things at this point. I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world today. Um, but if you're here and you're watching this uh, review right now, I want to thank you for taking your time, uh, spending your time with me. I truly do appreciate it. I can't do this without you. I don't do this without you. And your support is so much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, I wanted to take a little bit of a different approach to a review today. I know that I've reviewed colognes previously, but now I want to introduce you to a couple of fragrance oils that I have come across. Um, the difference between colognes and oils, um, the oils are a lot more concentrated and you don't need as much of the oil as you do to get the same effect as the, uh, as the cologne. Oils are the most pure form of a fragrance and so they are very highly concentrated. So you don't need as much and they last 10 times longer than a fragrance, uh, than, than a cologne does. Um, I contacted a company by the name of Black Oud London um, and they specialize in interpretations of uh, fragrances through their fragrance oils. And so I want to give a shout out to Waleed at Blackwood London, who sent me a couple of his fragrance oils for review. Waleed, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. And here we go. The first uh, fragrance oil that I have for you today is called Notorious Gold. Notorious Gold comes in a six mil bottle. I kid you not, this six mil bottle will last me over two years. You don't need a lot of this stuff. Like I said, it's highly concentrated. You don't need a lot of it. Uh, you don't need to reapply it. And the fact that it comes in a roller ball as well appeals to me because you can apply the perfect amount to the perfect spot. Uh, wherever you want to apply this, it's going to stay there. It's not going to run. It's not going to uh, do anything crazy. This is wonderful for me. And, and, and that's, that's what drew me to the company as well. Um, the presentation, six mil bottle, they have this calligraphy on the side. I don't know if you can see, but they also have their name, Black Oud London, on the side as well. And on the top, they have the Black Oud London logo. I truly do love the presentation. It also comes in a velvet pouch, so uh, that is part of the presentation as well. I do love the presentation of Black Oud London. Uh, Notorious Gold, the notes are Mandarin, Cinnamon, Amber, rose and peppermint those notes intrigue me i am a rose lover i am a cinnamon lover and i am an amber lover i love uh ombre tobacco and if you've ever smelled ombre tobacco you might like this moreover if you've ever smelled and i have it on my arm if you've ever smelled grand soir by mfk you're really going to love this this i believe fits in that genre of fragrances quite well um, but this has the added advantage of being very versatile. You can dress this up, you can dress it down. Whereas I would wear Grand Soir and Ombre Tobacco in more formal settings, I would wear Notorious Gold in any setting. This is a white t-shirt, this is a shirt and tie, this is shorts and a polo, this is also a black tie event. So this is very versatile for any occasion that you might want to wear it in. Um, it puts me in the mind of, like I said, Ombre Tobacco, Grand Soir. So it's, it's, very, it's very niche quality. If you like niche fragrances, and a lot of us do, you're going to like this. And I would encourage you to uh, get your noses on this and try it out. I'll leave some information down below as to how you can uh, go to the website and order some of this. And yeah, I I'm a fan of Notorious Gold. Um, it also puts me in the mind if you're a fan of um, One Million Privé by Paco Rabanne. Yeah, this, this is the way to go. If you are tired of, if you've gotten weary of colognes, you should try fragrance oils. You might be surprised. Um, I know a lot of us don't like to change. Um, I didn't, but... I always want to try to bring you guys some new content, some things that you may not have considered before. And so fragrance oils, if you have not tried them, I believe you should. Uh, the next fragrance I'm going to uh, 
review for you is Victory. Victory comes, of course, again in the 6 mil bottle, the calligraphy on the side, Black Oud London name on the side as well, and the Black Oud London logo on the top of the cap. This is also a rollerball. Um, Victory, the notes are ambergris, oak moss, uh, bay leaf, and aquatic notes. Now, yes, I said ambergris. Uh, yes, you have Aventus in your minds right now. No, it does not smell like Aventus. Um, but I will tell you, it smells amazing. Amazing. It's sweet, it's fresh, it's sexy. It can also be worn dressed up or dressed down. I don't think the sweetness will be cloying, so I think you can wear this in uh, all seasons. And with fragrance oils, they're going to be closer to the skin anyway. They're not going to jump off your skin and project and offend someone. Um, we all know that the uh, alcohol in uh, fragrances is what makes it project out. These don't have alcohol, so they're going to sit closer to the skin. So you're going to smell it as a skin scent, but whoever comes into your orbit is going to smell it as well. If you are a fan of Blue de Chanel, Blue de Chanel EDP, I believe you will be a fan of Victory. Um, those are the two fragrances that come immediately to mind when I smell this. These fragrances, these oils last 10 hours on my skin, easy, minimum 10 hours on my skin. Um, and I could not be more happy and more thrilled to have these in my collection. Thank you, Walid, for supplying these for my review. My reviews are strictly um, my own. I don't have to say good things about a company or a fragrance. If it's good, I'm going to tell you it's good. If it's not so good, well, I'm going to tell you it's not so good. But these, these fragrances right here from Black Oud London, I highly suggest you get samples of. Um, I will leave Black Oud London's website information down below. Again, thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it. If you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. I will be back with more uh, content later on. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.